YouTube, what's going on? It's professional Madden player T. Davis, and welcome to another free mini scheme here on the YouTube channel. We're breaking down 32 NFL team playbooks, going over the five best money plays in each playbook. I think you guys are going to really enjoy today's video. It's going to help you guys improve a lot when it comes to getting better at competitive Madden. Make sure you guys subscribe here to the channel on YouTube for the best pro player tips, gameplays, ebooks, and much more. Check out my coaching sessions down below as well. We have 30 minute and 60 minute sessions if you want to improve as a Madden player. I also have a defensive ebook available, my multiple playbook defensive ebook. We have 80 minutes worth of run scheme, defensive scheme, how to build a scheme in general. Uh, we have some great blitzes in the ebook as well, so definitely check that stuff out. I stream on Twitch as well. You can check out all my social medias, all my links in the description below. Definitely check all that stuff out in the links in the description below. That's it for the intro, guys. Let's get into today's video. All right, guys, so today we're taking a look at the Philadelphia Eagles playbook here in Madden 21. Not one of my favorite playbooks, but it does have some viable things we can go to. Of course, here when we break down all these money plays in 32-team playbooks, we want to look for things that we can be balanced with. So I'm looking for some runs. I'm looking for some passes. I might even have little mini schemes within these money plays to help you guys be able to run the ball and pass the ball much more effectively here in Madden 21. Now, the first formation I want to take a look at is single back wing flex. And the reason I like this formation is because we're going to be able to create a nice little mini scheme out of this, right? So some of the I'm going to break down just the two good runs and how we can build a scheme out of it. But the pass plays you want to look at are P A Y drag wheel, halfback slam, P A Y cross, mesh spot, stretch, P A boot uh, left isn't bad either, and then O one trap, which is one of the best runs in the game. Um, so let's come out in O one trap, and we'll just have the defense in a random thing. So the thing that's so good about this is. We're going to be able to run any of these runs to the left or right. So O1 Trap, as you guys know, one of the best runs in the game. We're going to have that pulling guard come over. And it's going to create a huge gap right up the middle. We're able to take this just up the middle for a huge run. You can flip it to the left or right, depending on which way you want the quarterback to hand it off. You know, usually with a righty quarterback, I prefer to hand it off to the right side. Lefty quarterback, if you're an ultimate team, um, I prefer to hand it off to the left side. So with Hurts, I like to hand it off to the right. But it really doesn't matter too much. Um, you just want, So see, look at that gap we get once we get in there. So like I said, you can flip that uh, left or right. Then you go audible over to the stretch, right? I like to put the stretch in my audibles. Same thing with this run. We can flick it to the left. If we want to run to the right, uh, left, we can flick it to the right. If we want to run it to the right, right here, I like the numbers to the right side. I'm going to go ahead and follow my great offensive line here with the Eagles. Run it to the right side. Um, and as you guys know, stretch in Madden has been good for the last few years. One of the best runs now the last couple years. This time we break it off for a big 12-yard run. So mixing in this dive and 0-1 trap can be super, super effective. We also have some good pass plays. Like I said, PA drag wheel, one of the best plays in the game. I would probably do set up like this. Streak my tight end, and I would delay fade my other tight end, right? And then you want, the money route is that circle route, though, to Jeffrey. You can go ahead. You can cancel play action or you can keep the play action if you want. I'd roll out, look for Jeffrey on that deep crosser down the field on the sidelines. Obviously, Jalen Hurts, not the best quarterback in the game. We'll go ahead and run that one more time here. See if we can... Uh, hit our delay fade maybe this time, but it looks like we're gonna have we're gonna have Jeffrey wide open right here. So that's how good the crossing route is. So when you mix these three plays in, you can create a nice little main scheme, and that's only the first money play. So let's jump into the second one. All right, guys, another formation that I love is this single back tight Y off. And Philadelphia has a great single back playbook. A bunch of these formations are very viable out of the single back formation. So you take a look at the single back tight Y off. It has a lot of good formations. PA jet leak, jet sweep. Um, Bench switch is always good. PA pump go. This The dive is good. But the play I want to look at is PA deep cross, right? One of my favorite plays in the game, especially versus zone coverage, is easily, easily, to, easy to beat that. Set up I like to do here is I like to smart route my post route on the left side there and make it a little bit sharper. I'm going to go ahead and wheel route my running back to the right side there. And I'm going to go ahead and put Goddard on a little flat route on the right side there. So we're going to have that hatback wheel flat combo that we love here. If you guys have been on my channel before, you guys know I love that hatback wheel combo. Then we have the, the crossing route coming to the other side. So it's really going to stress the user over the middle. because It's going to force the user defender to choose to guard that halfback wheel route or the deep crosser. Because both those routes, um, no zones really guard them. It's going to be very difficult. They're going to have to make a lot of adjustments. So those two routes are really going to stress the user defender over the middle. we we'll just make the right read. And let's go ahead and run it first here. So first I'm just going to look for the little low ball to the halfback wheel. that It gets in that little pocket right on the cut up the field. You always want to usually low pass that with the left trigger. Um, click on and make a play, or click on and make a possession catch is what I like to do this year. So I'll, I'll wait till he kind of cuts up here. I like to low pass, click on possession catch. Like I said, no zones will really guard that. That's why we bring the flat out. And then we have this crosser over the top. So if, say they start to go over and user our running back over there, 
that's when we'd kind of wait, wait, and right there we had to roll out right, so we're not going to do that. But we'd want to wait and eventually hit our crosser coming from the back side over there on that left side. So let's go ahead and try it again here. Kind of wait. They're going to bite on the, the wheel. That's when we go ahead and throw it deep to the crosser, but we got his. We throw. But as you can see, Deshaun was about to get wide open down the field there. I'm going to go ahead and try to roll out left this time, maybe if I can, to buy myself a little bit more time. But if they bite down there, you see we wait. Then we have that deep crosser down the sidelines, and I'm just not getting any time in the pocket to be able to throw it. We'll try it one last time here. But as you can see, before before I even throw it, you can see the uh, circle just getting wide open down the field. Let's try it again here. See, I was getting wide open down the sideline, but I just can't get any time uh, with this Eagles offensive line. All right, guys, now let's take a look at the single back tray formation. I love this formation as well because it has so many good plays as well. The halfback zone is one of the best runs in the game. It's a quick handoff. We have PA boot, which is absolute money. We have halfback dive, which is good. PA solid corner, which is the play we're actually going to break down. Also have corner double in, which is good, and 0-1 trap. This wide receiver option is not a bad play. We also have an RPO alert power, one of the best runs in the game. So this formation is absolutely stacked. can make it even better if you do have the route chem ability um, or if you have some route apprentices at receiver. So... Um, this play is just good stock. Honestly, the circle route is your money route, of course. It's going to go ahead and just hike it. We can make some adjustments as we go. But as you see there, you guys know those crossing routes, absolute money to the sidelines. Now, you saw there the safety didn't jump back that far. So what we can do here is put the tight end on a streak like that. This will bring the zones back even more, allowing our crossing route to get wide open. You see there that time the safety was brought back by our streak, allowing that corner route to get wide open. Now, on the left side here, and we're just going to run the ball because this is, they're in a quarter three deep. We don't want to even deal with that. Let's go ahead and run it one last time here. Going to go ahead and just streak our tight end and then put square on that drag route like this. Going to go ahead and see what do we have. Looks like we're going to have the crossing route deep down the field to the sideline. So as you can see, this play absolute money. Let's jump into the fourth one. All right, guys. Next formation I want to look at is the wing slot offset. I really like this formation in the Eagles playbook. It has inside zone, as we know. The play we're going to break down is PA Reed. This plays absolute money. Also has a, a jet uh, jet pass. It has a power O, which is kind of like a trap run. Then it has this play double cross. And this formation will be even better, too. Again, if you have route cams, that can make this formation even better. Because we're going to have some great blocking out of this as well. But the play we really want to look at is PA Reed. A lot of different things we can do out of this. I like to come out sometimes and just run it stock. Give them a little quick hike action. Kind of wait, roll out there, throw it to that sharp corner out to Goddard on the sidelines. I love that verse cover too. I like that verse a lot of zones. This time we're going to have a uh, triangle on that crossing route versus man coverage. So that's one way you can do it. Another thing I like to do is streak one of my tight ends. So I'll put him on a, on a, streak on a, a circle on a streak and I'll delay fade this tight end here like that. Kind of go ahead, roll out. Cir triangle's wide open, but I'm going to wait and check down to our delay fade for a huge play over the middle. So that's one of my favorite setups right there as well. Um, one other thing I like to do too is kind of put streak, uh, streak X, the inside 10 right that like that, right? Then I will motion out Goddard and put him on a slant. So I have that motion slant going with the crossing route like this. This time we just pick one of them, stressing over the middle of the field. We throw a triangle, big play down the sidelines. Let's jump into the fifth and final play. All right, guys, final money play of the Eagles playbook is out of Trey Y Flex. And I broke it down a few times, but it's just so good that I got to do it. Dagger, probably one of the top five plays in all of Madden 21. You can come out and you can just run a stock. Go ahead and hit him with the quick quick, uh, the quick the hike. We have Jeffrey going on that crosser. I like it because it's a high-low read with the crosser over the middle as well as the drag underneath him uh, with Goddard there. So you have that high-low right, right off the jump. We show we can check it down to the drag. Boom, first down right there. Then, if both those two routes are for some reason covered, we have our, our bailout or our backside dig. It's kind of our last resort route. See, this time we're just going to check it down again to the drag wide open to the left side there. But you can, if they if they jump on that, we wait for that, uh, that dig behind them with square. Let me see if I can throw it in here this time. I can't. This time I had. So, and you want elite route runners. Like, I don't have Jeffrey. I don't have an elite route runner where Jeffrey's spot is. But if I did, he would get wide open over the middle this time. Jeffrey gets open here. And he's too slow, so he's not going to get a big play out of it. But that's what you're kind of looking for. And then you can also, and I'll run one more time here, then I'll go the next setup this time. Wide open again is Goddard over the middle. Easy read. So then another thing you can do is mix in a slant, motion slant. You guys know I love the motion slant, especially if it's man coverage. Those are effective every single year. So I'll go ahead and streak my tight end Goddard, put triangle on a motion slant like this. And now I'm looking either at the motion slant initially with a low pass, just like that, easy over the middle. 
or I'll wait and hit my crosser going across the right side. So let's go ahead and run that one more time here. And this time I will try to wait for the crosser depending on what's open. So we can't hit triangle, but we're kind of wait till the circle clears. Gets wide open on the sidelines with that two-man game. So that's it for the five money plays out of the Philadelphia Eagles playbook. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Please like, comment down below if you want to see more uh, videos like this, tip videos. Just trying to help you guys become better Madden players here on the channel. We're almost through with all 32 team playbooks. It's been a fun ride, man. But like I said, make sure you like, comment on this video. It helps me a lot. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel here on YouTube. Appreciate you guys. Until next time, I'm out.